Wait a second, people in the audience, wake the hell up. Let's go, let's show some love. He's been in gaming 
for the past uh, five years. And two of our guys that we didn't want to upset South by Southwest, so we left them outside. But they are really uh, the brains behind developing the product. So why now? Why is this just happening now? Basically, there was an update just a few weeks ago that ESPN is releasing their live API, which is going to enable us to not only get football scores, uh, we're talking soccer, we're talking cricket in India. I mean, it just goes on and on and on. We can stretch this platform throughout the world for any sport with barely any extra effort uh, from a, a technology development standpoint. Sounds some quotes. Um, we're really excited about uh, some of our uh, Raising Canes as well. It was a startup. It was funded with $150,000. Now they're growing to a $200 million industry. Uh, they've actually just got a new office in Dallas, Texas. But these guys are started in Louisiana. And they are, as you guys know, mobile spending is all based, most of it is based on local advertising. So guys like these that want to get their, uh, their names out to LSU, to you know, Virginia, where, everywhere that they're going, they'll be able to do this. Sorry, we're going to have to cut the pitch there now. We've gone over the five minutes. No. Yeah. The judges want to ask some questions. Can I just do a quick poll? Who would use us to play with their favorite team if it was free? It was totally free. Uh, and then who keep your hand up if you'd use it if it was like sort of betting money uh, against each other? So even more. So that's interesting. <laughs> so I think this is I think this is great. You get an interest based community, like rabid fans around the thing, and you're using live data to sort of encourage them to participate along with the game. I think it's really interesting. Sweet. And not to like discourage any of our, our techies, but yeah, probably with that in the sport, so but that definitely is already a good people want to use yeah. something like this, and that's, that's awesome. awesome. So, what are the, I was gonna say, so what are the regulatory issues you have since you are putting actual cash dollars sort of into this into play? <laughs> well, the fact that we're making it a skill based game is not online gambling. So, so all 50 states or all the yeah, states? It's a, it's a, yes. Yeah. Wait, but, is there some regulation around how much skill versus how much luck? Because there's yeah. some luck, right? So where do you yeah. draw the line? I mean, we, s I mean I can, we spoke with a VC this morning who, who's in the technology space and in this sector. And uh, the fact that we, as long as we make every single play available to everybody to choose from, and I have this ex same exact chance that you do, and it's not left up to luck, and then it is no, no longer, those issues go out the door. You guys should find Jeremy Levine of Star Street Sports because he's been through figuring out all the legal issues around this. Um, it'll be helpful. Yeah. I mean, my my comment would just be it's you may not need the gambling piece, all the more hands to go up. I mean, it, it is a community that's going to be there that you can advertise around. So. Um, what's your background in any type of gaming platform previously? I worked with uh, social media. Neopets, and then also uh, Meteor Games on an MMO project. Yeah, I mean, it's probably some monetization here. My concern would be that this game doesn't have staying power, and you probably have to develop a suite of games around it, like the same set of like, topics. Um, right. Yeah. This is definitely a proof of concept that the idea is to to perform a have a platform that you can interact with all the sports live and, and monetize it that way. Um, how do you plan to get distribution? Last question. Distribution amongst the, our Players, users. Yeah. Well, we're gonna do the we're gonna do the, um, the all of the gamification, getting people out, getting people there, and the social aspect, and then all of our advertisers will be also. It's in their best interest that they drive people to the game, similar to the way Suzanne did during the Super Bowl. I mean, 